Morning everybody, Tuesday morning. Hope everybody's banging this morning. On it, knows what they're doing. Boot camp tonight, weather's beautiful. It's gonna be a good one. We're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. Got some games planned. Um, yeah, so if you want in, you wanna try it, tonight's a really good night to try it. So what I want to talk to you about tonight is all excuses I hear. I hear loads. Some are a, a, a proper class, but it's always, you've just got to get your SH1T together because you're telling yourself lies. You're telling yourself lies. You find plenty of time to complain about all your issues, whatever they are. I'm overweight. I can't do this. I'm out of breath. I didn't sleep. But you're not doing anything about it. Right, but I hear millions of excuses and people spend hours and hours and hours complaining about it. Um, I was talking to a friend yesterday and they were saying, they were complaining and complaining. I said, look, I said, you, you just got to do something about it. There's, there's no two ways about it because in a month's time, you're going to be exactly the same. In three months' time, you're going to be exactly the same. Maybe even worse. Stop complaining. Find a solution. Put all your effort into a solution. But, like I said, I've heard loads of excuses in the past, right? I hear, I've got no time, right? I work way too long hours. I'm tired when I get home. Sounds like me, this. This is, this is what, what, what I used to be like. Um, but you've got to understand, everybody works long hours. Everybody, as kids, as a partner, as a dog, as a cat, as whatever else. But it's absolute BS that you're telling yourself that you can't do it and you can't make time. I remember I used to get up early before Shannon, before kids, and get my exercise done downstairs, right? As quick as possible. Because I just thought I were on my own doing it. And then kids started getting up a little bit early. Because I'd done it for so long, I was getting up, they were getting up, because we were going to bed a little bit earlier. So they started getting up early. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to get up even earlier. But then they started joining in. And then it was like, Shannon started getting involved, and Shannon went, were watching what I were doing and then she were copying it. And then our Oliver and Courtney, they wanted to go. So they're having to go on fitness bands. And before we knew it, it was just like a rank morning routine where we all got involved. And it, it, it were really, really class that kids wanted to get involved, Shannon wanted to get involved and we all had fun doing it. And it makes it so much easier. It got to a point where, says to our Ollie, morning Jason, you all right buddy? Says to our Ollie, I says, um, bear in mind you were 13 at the time. I said to him, I said, fancy going out for a run with your dad? He's like, yeah. I'm like, sound. So we went out for a run. Uh, and bear in mind, this were quite early on, I'd started looking after my nu nutrition and, um, and my exercise and stuff. And he's pulling me along because he's just got unlimited e energy, that kid. He can just run and run and run. He just never stops. <laughs> I were keeping away. I'm thinking, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but honestly... It's awesome to get your kids involved. It's awesome to get your family involved, your missus involved, whatever. Don't make them out to be excuses and say, I can't do it because of this. Because, honestly, it's BS. Total BS. Uh, but like I said, if it were a high priority to you and you wanted it enough, you'd make time. You would. And I, I get it. It's tough. It's a tough pill to swallow, isn't it? That, it? that you're telling yourself lies and you're telling yourself all this BS. It's tough. I get it because I've done it. And I felt the same, I was like, no, I just ain't got time. But then I realised how much time I was spending sat watching telly, and sat watching Netflix, and sat doing some stupid thing that I didn't need to be doing. Or I'd make an excuse, I'd do something else. But yeah, it's all BS. You've got to take control of it. But like I said, I needed somebody to tell me at one point that that were bullshit. <gasps> said it. I needed someone to tell me that that were BS, because it were. It were. And until somebody told me, tough pill to swallow, I never made any progress. But, like I said, if you want to improve your health, your body confidence, fitness, you want to be a better role model to your kids, that is strong enough, I'm sure. But if you want to be around for your kids longer, you want to be happier, you want to be a better partner, you've got to take action and do something. Nothing comes from sat in your comfort zone. Take some action. Push yourself to be better than you were yesterday. And you'd be surprised what you're capable of. You'll be honestly, ultimately surprised. But if you want it, prioritize it, create time. Simple as. And it works every time. You can create time, everybody can. Uh, like I said, it's gotta be important to you. But if it isn't, 
It's not important to you. Your health's not important to you. Being a better role model is not important to you. Being around longer to see your kids grow up is not important to you. And everything else what I've mentioned is not important to you. And that's fine. Don't worry about it. It is what it is. That's your choice. Well, like I said, I had a friend, Ian Hudson, says to me, oh, I ain't got time. I said, why ain't you got time? He says, well, I'm working. Um, he's doing his long shift. He's doing 10 hours a day as a manager, right? 10 hours, which is about right. It's about what it is, isn't it? 10 hour day. After work, he were running home, getting changed and being a recovery driver at night on call. So he could get called out any time. And I was like, that's a lot of hours, mate. I'm like, Jesus Christ. What time do you work up to? He went, it can be any time. He said, I might get called out to it morning. I was like, whoa. Together, me and Ian, we got Ian 20 kilogram lighter. He lost 20 kilogram. And people said they ain't got time. People said they ain't got time that don't work and just got kids at home. They ain't got time. I explain that. Madness. He did it because he prioritised it and he wanted to do it. And he knew he needed to do it because he'd gone well over, well over what he ever thought, he, he, what biggest he'd ever, ever been. Now, is what he were 15 years ago. Big difference, isn't it? 20, imagine carrying 20 kilogram around with you. Get a 20 kilogram weight and carry it around with you for a day. Big difference, big difference. But like I said, be honest with yourself. Just be honest, Just cut the crap. Be honest, understand why you're not doing it, and then deal with them issues. Uh, but like I said, I lied to myself for years, years and years and years. And it's only until I realised that I was lying and somebody put it into perspective for me that I started making change and I realised that I could do it. Uh, but like I said, we build obstacles in way. We say we ain't got time. We, we say we ain't got money. But we say we ain't got money. I was saying this. I said, oh, I don't think I've, I've got money to do it. But I was buying alcohol every week. I was buying takeaway every week. And what other... Taxis to and from, but at pub and stuff, it added up quite a lot. And I actually ended up being a hell of a lot better off. And I tell you now, most people that join end up being a lot better off, especially if they're drinking and smashing takeaways. They end up a lot better off. Um, I used to blame it on a uh, partner. I used to say, oh, I've got to pick Shannon up. I've got to do this. I've got to do tea. She gets face on if I go to gym for an hour. She didn't. That were me building a barrier. I say it's kids because I've, I've got kids and uh, I need to look after them and do this and do that and do their tea and, and take them out to do this and it's an excuse. No excuse because I could get up early and do my exercise like I started doing. I've got an holiday coming up. Since I did my transformation, I've done, I think, th three or four holidays last two years. Still got to where I want to be. It's not an excuse. We cannot piss it's not it's not an excuse is it really that's just ridiculous if you're going out and getting absolute leather every weekend what benefit do you end up what what do you think you're going to gain how far do you think you're going to go before you just can't lose any weight because you're getting slashed every weekend ask yourself that but yeah they're all excuses all excuses i got wasted every weekend because i was unhappy and i was depressed absolute bs i did it because i saw a bigger payoff to doing that than doing anything else i understand that you need to understand that but like i said i will follow sh1t i love that word sh1t right if you need help let me know boot camp tonight if you want on drop me a message weather's going to be awesome we're going to have a good session i'll try and get it in shade if possible if we can get under under some trees uh, but yeah, if you want to get lean, let me know. You need to get joined. I promise your results. That's what you're going to get. Do the work, you will get results. That's all you want. Everything else that comes with it matters not, does it? Because we want results. All right, see you tomorrow.